All right, let's see what we're going to do for part B. Like in part A, I think we're going to start with a U substitution because e to the x is a little bit confusing uh, in the statement of the rational function here. So I'll, I'll, do, the, um, I'll do the U substitution first, calling um, U to be e to do x so that du is e to the x dx. All right, so then this integral turns out to be du u plus 1 u minus 1. Here we go. This is one of the forms that, uh, you know, you have the bottom already factored out. So all you're going to do is to apply the partial fraction business for this. And the factors are linear. So I'm going to do this. Uh, let me use a different color here. Okay. So I have 1 over u plus 1 u minus 1. So I'm going to have a have an a here u plus 1 and b here for u minus 1. And I'm going to find a common denominator now. So u minus 1 for this and u plus 1 for the second uh, fraction. And this is going to be written as a times u plus 1 plus b u minus 1. Right? So I think that's correct. Awesome. So let's pick a few sample u values. u equals negative 1 and u equals 1. Okay? If u equals negative 1, the first term is gone on the right. So 1 equals uh, negative 2b. Okay? So b equals negative 1 half. Right? Okay. That's good. And if u equals 1, the second term on the right hand side is gone. 1 equals 2a. And we get a to be 1 half. Okay. So then this is 1 half. And this is negative 1 half. So now I can write this integral as... As... So I need the 1 half out. du over u plus 1 minus 1 half du over u minus 1. Okay. So I'm going to use two uh, substitutions here. One is uh, maybe v equals uh, u plus 1 so that dv equals du. And the other one is w equals u minus 1, so that dw equals du. Okay? And it turns out that this integral is 1 half dv over, uh, dv over, um, let's see, v. Okay? And then the other one is dw over w. Okay. Good. So this is one half ln of absolute value of v minus uh, minus ln absolute value of w. Okay. One half ln u plus one minus one half. Let me just continue from here because that's gonna get some space here. Minus one half ln uh, u minus 1. All right. Woohoo! Uh, we're not done yet because we have to back substitute uh, u. Uh, uh, let me clean uh, this part. Okay. So you don't need this part anymore. All right. So u equals e to the x. So all I'm going to do here is just to come back and then plugging in with also one half, obviously. Ln e to the x plus one minus one half e to the x minus one. Ln e to the x minus one. Okay. I can further simplify this by pulling out one half. And now, since we have the difference of two ln functions, I can write it as a quotient, one half ln of a quotient. E x plus one, e x, e to the x minus one. 
And obviously we add always like plus C, right? So here starting from starting from here, right? Don't forget to add plus C, plus C, uh, and plus C, and as well plus C. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna move on to the next video for part C. Thanks for watching. I'll see you there. Bye.